What's going on guys? Thanks to PlayStation 5 box images, we now know exactly how you can transfer your PlayStation 4 data straight over to the PlayStation 5. I'm going to tell you how to do it right now. So now, according to PlayStation, and this is coming directly from the retail box, you guys. So whenever you receive your PlayStation 5, you can just flip the box over and you can see exactly how to do it. But if you want to know now so you can prepare, this is what you're going to have to do. Now you can transfer your data to your PlayStation 5 console in the following ways. You can connect your PlayStation 4 console and your PlayStation 5 console to the same network. Sounds like it's going to be pretty easy. You're going to be able to transfer your data straight through your network using a LAN cable. You can also go ahead and connect your external storage device from your PlayStation 4 console to your PlayStation 5 console. So if you have, say, a USB jump drive laying around, and you have some PlayStation 4 game saves that you want to get transferred over to your PlayStation 5, just save them from your PlayStation 4 and move them straight over to your PlayStation 5 using that external storage device. Additionally, if you have an external hard drive where you're saving your game data, same thing. Take your external hard drive, save your game, and then from there, go ahead and connect your external hard drive to your new PlayStation 5 console and bring your saved data right into the console. You can additionally sign into your PlayStation 5 console with the same account that you created on your PlayStation 4 console. You can transfer data such as gaming history and trophies, as well as a profile and friend information as well. This method is otherwise known as transferring your data from the cloud. This is probably the easiest way that you're going to be able to transfer your data. If you have your data saved to the cloud, you can simply go ahead and just load it right up on your PlayStation 5 and you're pretty much going to be good to go. Now there's no doubt that saving it from the cloud is definitely going to be your quickest way to do it. However, you do know that you have to have a PlayStation Plus membership in order to save your data to the cloud directly. So if you don't have a PlayStation Plus membership, you're not really going to be able to take advantage of this method, so keep that in mind. Overall, it sounds like PlayStation has made it extremely easy to transfer your game saves and data from your PlayStation 4 over to your PlayStation 5, which is extremely helpful for gamers who are upgrading their PlayStation 4 over to their PlayStation 5. They'll be able to play their PlayStation 4 games with full backwards compatibility and pick up right where they left off from their PlayStation 4 on their PlayStation 5. So there you go. Hopefully this video went ahead and explained this process a little easier to help you guys understand exactly how you'll be able to transfer your data from one system to the next. Uh, once I get my hands on a PlayStation 5 console, I will definitely go ahead and demonstrate and show you guys exactly how it works as well. But I wanted to get this video out there so you guys know exactly what to expect when you get your hands on the PlayStation 5. Looks like the media got their hands on the PlayStation 5 consoles today, so I might go ahead and push out a video that talks about that. Maybe highlight a few of the media members out there that were able to get their hands on the PlayStation 5 as they tweeted out images of it, and yeah, I'm definitely very very green with envy right now but i'll go ahead and maybe push out a video on that if you guys like this video you know what to do smash that like button and subscribe for more as we do videos like this quite often additionally if you want to get notified for whenever a new video gets published be sure to click on the bell i'll be sure to keep you guys posted on playstation 5 news until then i'm a to the p albert perkins and we will see you in the next video until then and as always Peace.